Alrighty, good morning. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than the other episodes. Um, I'm going to take you guys out doing what I call cold checking. It's where I just kind of aimlessly walk around out here and uh, try to find some pictographs. So I'm legitimately starting this episode not knowing if I will ever actually uh, share this footage. So hopefully we find some pictographs today. Normally I have a pretty good batting average at uh, finding pictographs when I just go out and cold check stuff. So Hopefully we're successful today, but we're going to be working in some of the steep country um, solo. So hopefully I don't get hurt, but uh, yeah, it should be a fun day. Alrighty guys, so I just made it to my spot that I'm going to leave my truck and I'm going to go on about a six to seven mile hike. But real quick before I leave, I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I'm going to be carrying with me. Um, obviously I've got food and water. Uh, I've got some sunflower seeds just to kind of chew on while I'm out there and keep my, keep my mind busy if you will. Uh, one of the biggest and most important things that I'm going to be carrying though is my uh, medical kit. Uh, this is just a, like a little two person medical kit with a lot of essentials in it and stuff that I've added as well over the years. That's a must to have in there. Uh, I carry a large extra knife. Um, and then of course, trash bags. I always carry trash bags when I'm out and about just in case I come across any, uh, any trash that any knuckleheads have left. Um, but one of the biggest things I'm gonna be carrying is my spotting scope and tripod along with my camera and tripod. And the reason that I carry my spotting scope is to save me a lot of leg time. So I'm gonna be looking at a few shelter caves back here and instead of hiking up to every single one of them, you know, a few hundred feet in elevation gain at a time, I can get on an adjacent slope and I can, I can spot into every single one of them and see which ones I need to walk into. Now, of course, if they're clumped together, I'm gonna check every single one of them out while I'm up at one, but this will save me a lot of leg time and I can tell whether or not there's gonna be any, any rock art or pictographs, if you will, inside of any of the, the locations that I'm gonna be going to. But another idea that I'm gonna share with you guys is um, right here I have a whiteboard and I, I always have this in my truck. And the reason being is if I ever leave my truck, I'm gonna write down my name, my phone number, emergency contact, time that I left and time that I plan to be back. Um, I work out in the woods and I've been on a lot of search and rescues and this right here is definitely a, a lifesaver if you will. If nothing else, it'll, it'll give somebody some general awareness of when to call 911 or uh, you know get, get a search and rescue in place so I'm gonna go ahead and write down uh, all that information and leave it on the dashboard of my truck so that way if any law enforcement or fire or anybody that comes out here sees it um, they, they know when I'm supposed to be back um, another thing I'm gonna do is I always carry a hoodie or a jacket of some sort in case I have to stay out here overnight something goes wrong and then it is hunting season so on my pack I'm lucky enough to have a large orange panel and I'm gonna keep that large orange panel out so that way I'm not mistaken as a, a deer for any of these hunters that are out here. The place that I'm at, more than likely not gonna be any, any hunters, especially this late in the hunt, but just in case, it's just a, another safety measure. So now let's get loaded up and get going. Okay, finally made it up to this next one here. It's a lot larger than that last one. But uh, we're gonna do our little safety rock here. Make sure we got no critters in there. So, see if I can get y'all a good angle on this. That doesn't seem like there's any critters in there. So let's give her a look. <laughs> all right so no pictographs uh, we didn't hike up here for nothing though I'll tell you this is an absolutely beautiful spot um, I find it really hard to believe that 
you know, whatever culture would have been coming across this wouldn't have used it. Um, you know, you sit right over active water. You've got a beautiful view of an entire, you know, canyon system all the way down to the drainage. You could see all the comings and goings. Um, the one thing I will note though, I don't know if you can see it, but right down here and then everything that I am standing on is the collapse roof. Yeah. What might have had signs of inhabitants uh, at some point in time is probably beneath us under tons and tons of, of stone. So, you know, got goose egged on this one. Um, I'm going to go around the bend here, see what else I can find. I'm also going to kind of work just this little shelf, uh, make sure I'm not overlooking anything that might be kind of on the outskirts of this, this uh, shelter cave. But, I mean, absolutely gorgeous view. <laughs> okay, things just got really cool. So I was about to start packing up and moving along from this uh, shelter cave site and I found something. Um, I did one last look just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Well, I did. So right here on this wall, we have a G or a J and then an N and then it says Langley, August 1st, 1885 or 95. That is amazing. It is beautiful script, uh, hand drawn. I mean, obviously anybody could have wrote this, but it's in an area that would have been really well preserved. Um, I've got a ton of books that I'm going to go through and see if I can find this name in any of them um, related to this area. But absolutely amazing. I'm going to see if I can get y'all some good close ups where you can see this, but I'm pretty blown away that I found this. All right, guys, well, I was about to start walking around and looking at a couple of the other uh, sites that might be out here um, along just the other side of this hill. I'm changing my mind though. Um, I'm gonna call it a day because I still need to get back and I need to do some research on that name that I found on the wall. And so this isn't in the episode, but I need to get back into cell service and go look at a couple of my books. So that way I can see if I can find some form of history on the individual that, that scribed their name on the inside of that last cave shelter. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way back to my pack and then bon voyage on out of here and get back into cell service and see if we can get some answers about what we just found. mark right there is where my butt slid down the hill I just took a heck of a spill let's uh let's check out my elbow here <laughs> yeah I definitely got a little bit of a boo-boo really glad my arm broke my fall or man my body would have really got hurt there So I made it back and I've been doing all of my research on who this person could be. Um, I've got a couple matches um, and then I've also compiled a list of every single living J.N. Langley that I could find at the time. Um, so I'm going to be working through this list to eliminate any individual that is a, a for sure not match. Um, I've gone through Civil War records, I've gone through Ancestry.com. I've looked at like family search, um, 
anything. Newspapers, historical societies, reached out to historians locally, reached out to archeologists. I've talked to everybody so far. So right now I'm just waiting on replies and stars to align, if you will. So this is gonna be the end of this episode. I've got a lot of work to do. Of course, you can see, I've gotta get rid of all these names to identify just one as our match. So I've got a ton of work to do and it's gonna be quite time consuming along with editing this video. So I've got some work to do, needless to say. Um, I appreciate y'all following along. I really hope that the next episode is a reveal of who this J.N. Langley is. I'm hoping. I've got a po possible match. Um, I'm not sure though. So uh, yeah, needless to say, subscribe, like, let me know what you think, and stay tuned for the next episode. It could be a good one. So thanks guys.